What is up, riders? We are doing another cigar video, cigar review. Um, I went and got a cigar from our local shop. I wanted to kind of compare the quality with one that you get from a cigar shop instead of a smoke shop. There is a difference. We'll talk about it. So sit back and ride with me. got a dragon chasing its tail which supposedly like these guys didn't tell me too much about it so but supposedly it is it means rebirth right or yeah. regenerate or yeah like like that. I don't know I'm not into that stuff I'm into cigars so this is what it looks like so that is the archetype yeah. Archetype, Strange Passage. Um, the guy at the smoke shop kept calling it the Psycho 7, and it is not a Psycho 7. It's made by the same people, but it's an archetype. Um, Psycho 7 is a completely different thing from the same maker. So I had to make myself some notes because he couldn't tell me nothing about it. And like I say, we'll discuss that a little bit further. So it is a dark Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, which is pretty good. It's got the Honduran Coroja. Oh, Coroja. Mm -hmm. These words makes me feel dumb. Um, but it's got the Honduran Coroja binder, and then it's got a multi country filler in it and the reason why is it's a flavored filled jerky if you will say that five times fast yes it is a flavored filled journey they keep calling it a trip so you start smoking it and you get it's supposed to be a, a coffee bean and a wooden flavor and then it goes down through other flavors, and then it ends with a chocolate and spice flavor. Let's see what we get. I mean, these guys couldn't even tell me what would be good to pair with it. So even looking into a little bit more, these type of cigars are actually gonna be good with a little bit of coffee, which we made. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and open her up and let's smoke this thing. Okay, so once again, it is actually nicely wrapped. It's wrapped nice and tight. Um, I did get it clipped, but it tastes good and smells good. So we'll torch this bad boy. Did I open the window? Yes. yes. likes the smoke. Um, 
Yeah, so right off the bat, it's kind of... It's kind of got your cheap cigar taste, if that makes sense. I don't know if they've had it for a while, or... It don't taste like no coffee bean. It's actually burning kind of uneven there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's burning real uneven. So, really quick, the thing about a smoke shop and a cigar shop is I would much rather go to a cigar shop because it's what they do. That's all they do is cigars, they do pipe tobacco, they know their pipes. And it's not like the ones you get from a smoke shop that go smoke whatever you want. Sorry about the cat. Um, and they just, they, the smoke shop, they just have cigars there because they're there. So they kind of get the cheapest ones. I actually bought the most expensive one that I could find that they had, and I paid like $14.99 for it, and its listed price was uh, going online, kind of checking it out, checking out the information, it said $10.99, so they made an extra five bucks off me, so more power to them, but... So you're saying you can taste the quality type in, in it, I guess? Well, it's like the Black Label cigar. Like that one, it was a little bit more, well, not even a little bit, it was a lot more smooth. Um, had better taste. This is, I, I don't know if the smoke shop. Well, it's like stale tea. maybe or something? Uh, it's not really stale, it's just like, there's a really weird aftertaste. I know they're trying hard to get different flavors in there, but... Honestly, I would drive the extra hour and a half, two hours, to an actual cigar shop. Um, that way, if I've got questions, like you guys saw in our last video, Brandon was there to answer any question that I had. I mean, there was a lot more questions asked off the camera. But, going to this place, they couldn't answer any of my questions. Like, they couldn't answer them at all. Um, I'm sure they could answer any question about vaping, about the glass pipes that they have, about anything they have, really. Um, but they can't go too deep into it. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I mean, if they want to sell cigars, sell cigars. It's close to home if you want to quit cigar. Take fishing or hunting. But it's kind of, does it smell different to you? Um, it smells more smoke, more like smoke. Like, if you walked into a bar where people smell, that's what it smells like. It, it's definitely, a lot different. I, I would recommend going to a cigar shop and if you're new at this, like I'm fairly new at it, I'm still learning quite a bit about cigars, um, so you guys can learn with me. And I'd rather go somewhere where they know what they're talking about. Like Brandon and his crew down there, they, they know their shit. Like they do, they know their shit with cigars and I mean it it shows in their stuff in their shop that they were, knows what he's doing. Um, and I mean the smoke shop, they were they were nice. They got to me real quick and but they just they couldn't answer any questions for me. And I I had a little bit higher hopes for their cigar and I don't know if this is just an older one or <clears throat> I'm 
and going through one of the journeys. I don't smoke a cigar for some journeys or trips or whatever. Let's we'll try with a little bit of coffee and see how that is. See if that enhances the uh, coffee flavor on it. Okay, the coffee does make it a little bit better. It still tastes like one of your cheap cigars. And I mean, everybody's, I, it's whatever. We're just reviewing here. So, I, on our scale, I'd probably give this like a two so yeah. far. I, not much of a fan of it. What's the name of it again? Archety archetype archetype. <clears throat> it's the strange passage. Oh. I mean I'm sure they make good cigars. But this one is it really isn't doing it. Is it just not very so flavorful or do you feel like you're smoking a cigarette? Well I've I've smoked a lot of cheap cigars and it you know, like the ones you get for like six bucks. Yeah. Ooh. That one stunk. Yeah, it, do it doesn't smell very good. That's it's, good. It, it just, it doesn't taste real good. And I mean, if that's one of the flavors, I don't even know if I'll smoke this one all the way down. It's. It just smells like the old stale nasty it cigarette. It smells like a stale cigar smell. Um, and I will compare everything to Black Label. Like that cigar was probably, I'm going to put this one out. Still probably still be smoking behind me for a minute. She loves it. The last one really wasn't that bad. This one, like, you can definitely, there's not a very good smell to it. So, I mean, I guess the lesson here is if you have to go the extra miles, the extra time, it's worth the cigar. I mean, what did I pay for my black label? Like 16 bucks? Yeah, if that, <clears throat> right around there. The best cigar I have ever had. Like, the best. And it came from a cigar shop. Um, I bought this one, like I said, for $14.99. Thumb around there. Do the math. I mean, a good cigar for an extra two bucks, three bucks, or your smoke shop. And I'm not coming down on smoke shops, so don't get me wrong. It's if you want to smoke a cigar or a pipe. Make sure that you go to people that know what they're talking about. And I mean, I'll probably review a couple more from there. They might have a good one. Um, they have the Romeo and Juliet. Mm -hmm. That one, that one's good. There's times where I'm in the mood for one of those. Um, You've got quite a few from, quite a few of those from there. They're, I like those. I have to, I won't say it to be in the mood for them. I just, I don't know. It's a shop that sells a lot of like your real cheap Cuban rounds that you get for like four bucks. And I mean, if you know a bad cigar, those are pretty raunchy. If any of you like them out there, go visit a cigar shop. And I'm not talking just Beehive Cigars. That's the one that's closest to me. In fact, they're there's not many cigar shops here in Utah. No, We've got a lot of smoke shops that carry anything and everything in vape under the sun. You want a vape? Go to the smoke shop. Um, but if you're wanting to get into the cigar and the pipe world, visit a cigar shop. And there's a lot of online shops that you can visit. If you have questions for them, 
look for their number and call them, email them, just kind of whatever. And make sure you're doing your homework on what you're smoking. Um, I don't think they had that in the humidifier. You know, I honestly don't remember. That just, that, it wasn't, and the aftertaste in my mouth is, it's not very good. So, those are my suggestions. Visit a cigar shop where that's all they do. Cigars, pipes, and pipe tobacco. Did, did they sell the cigarettes there? I don't think so. I think it was all just cigars, cigars and tobacco. And tobacco. It, it's worth it. It's worth the drive. I don't know how far away you live from a cigar shop, but if you're gonna smoke it, that's what I do. And if you're gonna order it, make sure you call them, talk to them about what you're smoking. I haven't ordered anything. It's kind of hard to get anything here in Utah. I wouldn't mind being a part of that on cigar clubs and get your monthly samplers. That'd be that'd be good for reviews. So, um, I thought the video would be longer. <coughs> Sorry. Somebody's over there talking. I don't know where the cat is. He's finally asleep on the bed. But if that's all you have is a smoke shop. There's nothing wrong with them. Make sure they know what they're talking about. Make sure that make sure it's a good cigar. That one almost I would say almost was stale. Mm. So I I'll give them a two. And I'm gonna hold my bishop up to a five, so maybe we on a five scale. Five right? points down then. Five scale. So we'll give it some. Being a two is being nice. I just won't bash on it because I'm sure they have some good tobaccos out there. Um, looking a little bit into the black label trading company. They. They've got quite a few, and we're going to review them all. That's my goal is to review all of the Black Label, um, as well as other cigars. I'm going to stick with getting cigars from Beehive, unless I can get some sort of mail sampler, whatever. But I think we're going to stick with the Beehive, unless the smoke stop steps it up. <laughs> I don't know if that'll happen, but talk to your cigar shop. I almost said smoke shop. Mm -hmm. Talk to your cigar shop. They'll, you guys, the information Brandon has, and once again, this is not about beehive cigars, but the information that guy has about cigars is, he will blow your mind. He's very knowledgeable. These guys are very passionate at what they do especially when it comes to cigars, when it comes to product. And it's not just them, I'm sure it's all cigar shops. They're obviously in the business for something and it's not to push it. I guarantee you, even Beehive or any cigar shop is not there to push it on you. If it's something good, they'll tell you about it. They'll tell you what's in it. They'll, if you know your tobaccos, then you know what's up. But, I don't know my tobaccos all that well. Like I said, I'm just learning. Gotta start somewhere. I'm a beginner at this. So, you guys can all be beginners with me. And if you're advanced, put down in the comments on what you think I should smoke. Name a tobacco that you think I should smoke, and I'll test my cigar guy. Let's let's see what you guys have to say. If you're, if you're real advanced, I leave it down in the comments. If you don't smoke, don't smoke. Explore don't. your flavor palette in your mouth. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> um, so yeah, do you have anything? No, I'm gonna need to bed. This is a little bit short, but we were hoping it'd be a little bit longer. But I, that cigar was not very good. It almost tasted like it came from a 
gas station. We've been sitting in a gas station for a couple years. So, maybe it was a bad one? Who knows? Okay, anyways, guys, make sure you're staying safe and social distancing and wearing your mask and wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt and drive safe. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays. Take care. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.